Hi everybody, it's Therese. I am back with another video and today I'm a, I'm doing a little bit of catch up. I think I have one more page that I did not complete and I did complete it this weekend and also for week or prompt 23. Um, so let me share week five, I think. I think it was week five, yes. It was... Um, quotes and Bible verses and I had bought some cards from the Dollar Tree with some Bible verses and I was going to pick those and I couldn't find I can't find anything anymore um, but I did have this um, paper pad from um, Dollar Tree and it had a lot of inspiration of uh, quotes and stuff and so I kind of um, glued it on my page and I added some new stickers that I got at um, Five Below um, it came from this um, sticker book and I have another book that has all kinds of stickers and I particularly like this one because of the um, oh, the botanicals are cool. I will show a little bit of it, but I love the mushrooms. I want to do a mushroom page so bad. <laughs> and then it also has some fairies in the back here. And so that's what I liked about this sticker book. It was $5, but you get a lot of stickers. I think, I don't know how many stickers you get. It doesn't say. Um, yeah, 290 stickers, so that's not bad for five dollars. Um, so I um picked out um from that paper pad the quotes that I like the best, and it this one here it says, A true artist is not one who is inspired, but one who inspires others. Um, this one here, life isn't about yourself. Life is about creating yourself by George Bernard Shaw. This one down here is from Robin Williams and he's like my all-time favorite actor. And it says, no matter what people tell you, words and ideas can change the world. Isn't that the truth? And then the last one, it says, let's dare to be ourselves for we, for we do that better than anyone else can. And then I just use some of the, oh, this is a sticker from, um, word sticker from um, Dollar Tree. And here are these, some of the stickers. This one has a fairy in it with butterflies. Thought that was really cute. This one has some yellow or orange butterflies, kind of kind of goes with that color and then here um <laughs> i can't even see it here's this one here and i put week five okay so this week for 20 prompt 23rd hmm, i think yeah prompt 20 is red and this one was fun <laughs> let me see if i can show you the whole thing um, so I digged in my bag of scraps of scrap paper and I pulled out a whole bunch of red paper and I just kind of staggered it in the background. Um, I kind of dug into my um, acetates. These are not stickers, but these are just acetate um, ephemera from my ephemera um containers and I just picked out you know random flowers there's one from Hobby Lobby and then and I found some um, ribbon red ribbon in my stash and I just added it here and there um, this is another film um, piece that says love and I, I added that there. And then I went into my Valentine's Day stash and I pulled out some felt hearts because, 
you can't think of red without hearts, right? So I put some some hearts here and there, um, different size hearts, and I called it a day. I just think this is such a pretty page, and I love the different textures, the felt, and this acetate brings to the page and everything. Whew. So this is my, um, it's not weak, it's prompts, right? It's not weak. Um, but it is the third week that we're doing the 23rd prompt. <laughs> um, so anyway, so this is my um, page for this week. I want to thank everybody for watching. Have a great week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.